Hello and uh, welcome back to Farmstead MTG. We are back from the Jumping Jesus tournament and uh, I have another classical match for you today with a lot of cool cards. So as is tradition we are first going to look at uh, some deck pictures and uh, deck pictures are important in old school because these decks are expensive and getting them is uh, it's a long journey. So. Uh, I think it's important to uh, to show them and uh, talk a bit about them. So let's go to the deck deck. And uh, here's a fantastic looking uh, black deck from uh, Eric. Wow, <laughs> so much beautiful black border cards. You get all the classical black creatures like uh, Black Knight, Hypnotic Spectre, Sanja Vampire at the top. You have the Dark Ritual, Sinkhole, Underworld Dreams, Three Discs, Drain Life, yeah, all the good classical stuff. So uh, this deck is awesome. And uh, if you want, if you're new to the format and want a budget-friendly deck, uh, you can, uh, of course, uh, skip the going for the beta cards and, uh, for example, a uh, revised Plotic Spectre. That's like one euro. And now beta one is uh, 300 euros. So this deck can uh, be built cheaper, but this uh, deck really shows his uh, love for the formats and uh, all the old cards. So fantastic. And uh, here's the next deck. The player's name is uh, Eivind. And uh, wow, another fantastic uh, deck. You got all the restricted cards. And, uh, Three mana vaults, so a lot of the mana ramp. With all, all that ma fast mana, you can play a Suchi, a Skellion, a Rook Egg, uh, and if they die, you can bring them back with an uh, Animate Dead. And uh, you can also uh, sacrifice them to uh, cast a Fireball and uh, perhaps fork it. So uh, a lot of cool uh, tricks in this list. So that was the decks. Let's get to the match. Game number one, you have Eric to the left and Eivind to the right. Eric is showing us his hand. Classic uh, black cards. <laughs> and there's a mulligan. Down to six from Eivind. And here's his hand. Yeah, it's a pretty bad six card hand, but uh, at least he has mana. So uh, he can cast spells if he draws some. So, uh, Eric starts out with a turn one black knight. And that uh, beautiful uh, Moxjat. So a Mana Vault from uh, Eivin. And a Black Lotus. So he draw. Uh, I think he, he didn't have that in his opening hand. <laughs> so an uh, attack for two with a Black Knight. So, will Avin draw anything else than uh, mana? Let's see. If he plays a land, he has 8 mana in round 2. Tapping 4 mana for a Suchi. Doesn't look like he has an answer for that hypnotic, so that's pretty bad. So he'll have to discard one, and that's a sacrifice. And an underworld dreams from uh, Eric. So now Avin takes one damage for each card he draw, and that uh, mana bolt is going to do a uh, damage as well. If he doesn't pay for mana to end a bit, he's down to 14. Really fast start from the black player. So he's sacking his uh, Lotus. It's for mana for a mind twist. Drain life, drain life disc. Attacks 
first with Suchi. So that means uh, Eric can attack with his Black Knight. And uh, I don't think he can attack more with Suchi. No, there's a factory also on uh, Eric's side. Even it's down to 7. No, 8. Attacks with a Spectre. Takes out the uh, Triskelion. Uh, Suchi. Now he attacks with everything. And that's uh, 4 damage. And uh, while we are waiting for game number 2, you can support this channel by uh, subscribing and uh, liking this video. Game number 2, Avin is on the play, starts out with a volcanic island, Eric has a swamp. A lotus, 4 mana for a Suchi. doesn't have that much removal for uh, the, those big artifact creatures. Eric is down to uh, 16. Another swamp. And a uh, hypnotic specter. Let's see if Ivan has uh, some uh, answers to that. City of Brass, that's some damage. Yeah, he attacks. Yeah, you should attack before before you cast your spells. So that's a good play from Avin. Oh no. <laughs> the Abyss. And when you're playing a Mono Black, getting rid of enchantments is also difficult. You need that uh, one of uh, Chaos Orb, a little payback mind twist, a Hercules Recall, a Fireball, and an Animate Dad. So uh, Eric is down to 8, I think. So when you're playing on feature, you should put your life dices as close to the camera as you can. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Four mana. He has two factories, so he can take care of that uh, Suchi. Now he has an ice hit to tap it down. And, uh, now we can attack with his factories. Start doing some damage. Cole and a Spectre. Okay, so he's going <laughs> Spectre into an Abyss. Yeah. Should probably just, what do you call it? A brain fart. <laughs> so here we get at 8. It looks like he's turning this game around. Suchi at end of turn. Avin is thinking about something. So the Spectre dies to the Abyss.
Looks like Avon has some kind of plan. He's doing a lot of thinking and counting. a will of fortune or something that would be seven damage from the annual dreams recall discarding oh ooh. discarding a rook gag and going for the the lotus that's interesting so he needs mana so that Gotta be a. It's going for a fireball. Let's see. So he has four lands, and with the black lotus, that's seven. And if he has another land, that's eight. But the Eric is at on eight. the lotus he has eight mana but he needs nine mana to uh, to get uh, that fireball for eight so we just passed the turn <laughs> so we need so I think he needs to top deck another land the attack with a Suchi and a factory and he doesn't pump the factory has another Suchi okay so it's an important draw here is it a mana source yes it is and the, yeah that's the fireball <laughs> for eight exactly game number three you can see his hand here Time walk demonic tutor and uh, yeah three spells and four mana so that's perfect and uh, Eric is showing us his hand dark ritual into an uh, annual dreams and a sinkhole yeah thank you Avon moving the dice closer to the camera two moxes. Hand, but it doesn't have black mana for that. Sinkhole on the swamp. <laughs> Boomerang from the sideboard. Take, taking care of the underworld dreams. Uh, Sinkholing the volcanic island. Lands the, and the underworld dreams is back. And there's a black mana for the demonic tutor. But what could he find here? Mind twist for two. Yeah, I think there's a better play now. So four. Rolled a four, that would be the middle one. Yeah, it looks like a little miscommunication. Yeah, but he, at 
least he got two cards. And he kept one. That's another Undual Dreams. Yeah, and they're talking some more about uh, Mind Twist. hits the table would this be the demonic to return for mana for uh, abyss that's great a great card against this uh, black deck but he only has like and black creatures, so it's not that bad. He has the factories and the Suchi. There's finally the Demonic Tutor. And what will it be for? Is it a classical ancestral recall? He has five mana. Of course, the recall, as a recall, will do some damage, but he's it's casting a chaos orb and activating it. And it's a hit. So perhaps he searched for a, a chaos orb. And there's a chaos orb from Eric. It's also a hit on the taking out the abyss. Uh, Triskelion hits the table. <laughs> and a Sanjay Vampire. So the big boys is coming out to play. Can I take a look at your graveyard? I think that indicates uh, animate dead. Six mana, Brain Geyser for four. That is card advantage, and card advantage is a good thing in Magic. Mox and a uh, land for turn. Perfect. Tapping two mana to cast the uh, Animate Dead. Take is taking a Spectre. So the Sanjay Vampire attacks. So it shoots the Sanjay for two and uh, blocks with the Spectre. Now he has to shoot him for three because Animate Dead gives uh, the creature minus one in power. Ah, interesting. A Topman script from the sideboard. What is this? Some <laughs> adult. <laughs> so Triskelion was signed signed by Kung Marcus, <laughs> but, uh, but he wasn't at this tournament. A recall for one against an uh, Thomas script. Interesting. I'm intrigued. So he responds with a mod script and a fork on the recall. Huh. So the fork is an instant, but the recall is a sorcery. Probably work. Let me know in the comments if uh, this works. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Eivind now has the Beta Ser uh, Sanjay Vampire. Yet, and the Triskelion is a uh, 1 1 creature now. And 
I even has a IC manipulator to at least keep that uh, vampire at bay. We text for one. And cast a copy artifact. Copying the IC. That's good. Ooh, Neval's disk. That was a good top deck. Eric is down to 9. Eivind is at 10. This is third match. Third game is a close one. Whoa, it's 8 mana. <laughs> Puts Eric down to uh, 2. You need to use those um, 3 boxes before uh, they get blown up by the disc. of it. That's a good card. Post uh, disking. Right here. And close up the disc. Yeah, he used uh, his own eyes to tap down uh, Eivind's uh, uh, City of Brass. So he Lost one life. Following up by uh, with a sushi. And world dreams. Eric has that uh, maze to defend off the sushi. And uh, even takes one damage. This time he draw a card. He's down to six now. And Eric is at two life. of his own. Even at five life. This is such a close game. <laughs> now I guess two uh, two maces. So Avin needs to draw some some burn spells to get oh animate that. <laughs> target of taking the Triskelion and that's 3 damage GG so uh, that was a close one but uh, even uh, 1, 2 to 1 and uh, Animate Dead is a good card <laughs> really cool finish when he cast Animate Dead targeting the Triskelion and then did 3 damage because Eric was at 2 life so uh, that's perfect alright that was it for this time, there is videos, you can watch some more, and you can like and subscribe, and I think there's a bell button or something. <laughs> Anyways, off to the next.